Here's a question for you on this um, cold November the 11th. And the question is regarding the ransom. Is the ransom purely about forgiving our daily sins? Or is it somewhat more involved? Well, imagine a poor man, he catches a terrible disease and dies from it. Perhaps it's a cancer of some description. Now, if you, got, if you had the power to save the man, how many problems would you, of necessity, have to solve? Well, two. You see, you would have to raise him to life, plus cure his cancer. If you cured his cancer only, you would have a healthy dead man on your hands. And on the other hand, if you raised him to life without curing his cancer, he'd inevitably die again. So how does that relate to man's fall? Man's fall, because of it, is full of, the earth is full of, as it were, the walking dead, spiritually dead, that is. The disease that killed man is sin. Remember Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. Uh, <laughs> we should do a, a vast elaboration on Romans 6, but piece by piece. So the cross was God's method of dealing with the disease. The resurrection of Christ was and is God's method of giving a new life to the dead. So this is the life of the Son, divine, righteous, eternal. Now, Thomas Aquinas, he lived in uh, the 13th century, a priest, a theologian, deep thinker. He explained it this way, um, Christ's passion and death are the cause of the forgiveness of guilt, by which forgiveness we die unto sin, whereas Christ's resurrection is the cause, cause of newness of life, which comes through grace or justice. Consequently, the Apostle says in Romans 4.25 that he, has, he was delivered up, that is, to death for our sins. That is, to take them away and rose again for our justification. Hmm. The essence of that quotation uh, appears to be that his death removes the penalty of sin. His resurrection delivers from the power of sin. We could just um, illustrate it very simply in this way. Imagine a housewife wants to preserve some fruit in some jars. She sterilizes the jars, fills them with preserve, and then seals them. So this cleansing, filling, and sealing is a picture of salvation. Cleansed by the blood, filled with his life, and sealed by the Spirit. I guess to elaborate, elaborate on this idea of man coming alive from the dead, spiritually speaking, we'd have to go into Ephesians chapter 1 and chapter 2. Why not just open your Bible there, um, if you have the time and desire, and read Ephesians chapter 1 and 2 from a translation of your choice. And we'll get this idea that we have been given an exciting new life in Christ by the Holy Spirit. In a summary sentence, his death and resurrection have provided your death to sin and a new life now. Thanks for listening.